January 2011 and devastating floods hit Queensland, Australia. The tiny town of Grantham in Lockyer Valley is most badly affected. A flash flood destroys 148 homes and kills over 10 residents. Kathy Mahon remembers. It was sort of up to our waist and up to our chest within a few minutes and everything's crashing and banging and floating around in the house everywhere. Our eldest daughter's car went floating past the kitchen window and down the backyard, you know, and we sort of thought, oh, you know, it's worse than what we even think it is. We knew if we got on the roof that the choppers would see us. So, um, yeah, EMQ came and saved us. The floods caused more than $7 billion worth of damage in Queensland. But rather than rebuild homes in the stricken town, Lockyer Valley Regional Council had other plans. Two months after the disaster, it bought 935 acres of land next to the town. The morning after the, the horrific event here, virtually everything was destroyed and it seemed totally pointless to try and rebuild in the same spot because uh, not only could the, the township be destroyed in the future, but had a similar event happened in the middle of the night, there could have been literally hundreds of people who lost their lives. And for that reason, we made the decision that we would move the people out of the danger and we re-established the new Grantham on the hill. People now live up uh, on the, the hill, they look around them, they know the risk has been removed. The system was you could swap the ground you owned down there for a block on the hill. Um, then they had to work out that every block, some blocks a bit better than others, so they worked out a ballad system to try and make it fair for everybody. We were lucky. I think the good Lord was looking after us. We got our first choice in the block. The council had to be sure that residents wanted to take part in the land swap. Communication with residents, many in shock or in temporary accommodation, was crucial. It was totally a voluntary arrangement. People had to make the decision to be involved. There was no compulsion and we believe that really was the answer to its success. The dedication of the council and the belief of the people around the council that uh, kept the momentum going and uh, has resulted in the, the long-term relocation of the town. And that's been a long process, but despite that fact, we had the first people living in their new homes in 11 months after the event. When council took charge of, of their former block, uh, we obviously cleaned it up, decontaminated it. That land will then be used for community purpose. Some of it may be returned to farming. And essentially, the whole township of Grantham will become a very green place. The investment in Grantham of $18 million by the Commonwealth and Queensland governments has already saved our governments an estimated $30 million by reducing the damage from further floods in 2013. What we saw in Grantham was a very strong relationship between the community, the council and the state government. That relationship saw a fast-tracked approach to get the Grantham subdivision delivered, faster than it could have been done ever in the past. What would normally take three years was done in a matter of months. These actions tie in closely with the Hyogo framework, which involved getting a political commitment, where necessary, legislative framework, and involving the community in the outcome. The HFA framework identifies the need for disaster reduction, political commitment and involving the community. What we saw at Grantham was an absolute connection to that framework. The Grantham project is a great example of the principles of the Hyogo framework for action coming to life. The next global framework should continue to encourage cooperative partnerships in prevention and preparation in order to build safer, more resilient communities globally. It's just great living up here knowing that, yeah, we're safe. The town flooded again and I knew then, after up here looking down at the water on the flats behind us, we had made the right decision, we were safe.